your phone. Just like a fucking picture, a little piece of hope. Standing on the edge, I know you see the scope. You trying to take it in. Alright, this, this is another educational lesson it's for educational purposes. And this is Francisco bringing it once again. Right now, we're going to stay on the hell thing, but we'll go back to history and we'll go back to the situation we are in today. But for now, we're going to try and focus on hell. That way, we all are prepared, you know? Alright, so. I'm gonna get back into it, man. It's the Inky. These notable white people. So, what do you think is going on with that, uh, Mr. Inky? Listen, brother. Exactly what we've been discussing the entire conversation is what's going on with our community. And I'm gonna tell you. Precisely put GNC. Now, now these ain't poor black folks who eat shit in the supermarket. No. That we, you know, these, these they got some money. No, you know what I'm saying. No, and and here's the thing: we think in our minds and in our hearts because we keep putting money at a much higher value than it really is because we don't have money. So we keep thinking that money is more of a of a thing than it really is. But once you get around people that have money, you're going to realize that money doesn't come with anything else. So a lot of these people, although they have money, they eat in the same diet as John Q. Nobody. John Q. No Cash. Because they don't have the information. The information is what's more important than the money. Because money can only really make you more of who you already are. It's not right. going to add right. or take away something that's not there. So what happens is, when we are uneducated about what it is that we're going to do, so we're eating recklessly because we don't know any better, once we get infused with money, that just makes us twice as dangerous because we're going to get to our destination twice as fast but that destination is death because we don't know what we're supposed to be putting into the machine. We don't know what type of gas to put in. So now that we got money and it gives us the availability to taste more delicatessens, to eat more things, to go to more restaurants, to, to taste and, 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 and enjoy, we don't know what is supposed to go into this body so once we get open up to more possibilities, it only does more harm. So when you're looking at uh, globally, and, and I like the way you put the question, because you're looking at our elders versus uh, European elders, and here's, here's, the, here's the real difference. Here's the real core issue. Um, when you look at illness, Right? You have to look at illness in, in, in its most simplistic way. You have illnesses that people are born with, and then you have illnesses that people uh, earn, so to speak, over time. They acquire these illnesses. So you have an illness where you have some faulty etc etc and so you, you have poor development in your physical body somewhere that's something you're born with type 2 diabetes that is something that you've acquired from making poor judgments in your lifestyle completely two different things now um as black people african americans melanated people across the world we have the best genetics and what that means simply is that uh, less than 10 percent of the illnesses that we deal with are stuff that we're born with less than 10 percent uh, it's the opposite to europeans in fact a lot of the uh, the positive eugenics that's been practiced the past 200 years has been by them for them to reduce the amount of birth defects they were having because they have natural, uh, very high 
natural amount of birth defects. So they wanted to be able to go in and change genes and change this and turn this off and turn that on before they even got out of the first trimester to try to correct a lot of the birth defects. So what am I saying? Why am I giving you that background, background information? Because people who are born with health challenges appreciate their health a lot more because they're born without it. Mm, okay. Anything you get for free in life, you take for granted. You take for granted, right, right. We have, right. We have the most precious genetics on this planet in the poorest health because we the take babies it for granted. Come the it's well. just that simple. Appreciate their health a lot more because they're born without it. Mm, okay. Anything you get for free in life, you take for granted. You take for granted, and right, have, right. We have the most precious genetics on this planet in the poorest genetics on this planet in the poorest health because we take it for granted. For granted. It's, we have the most precious genetics on uh, this planet can I get an amen. in the poorest health because <laughs> we hey, hey. So, basically, <coughs> the Shemites, um, the Yafedites, Japhet seeds, bio biochemically, were were the were the same. Meaning, we're not that different when it turn comes to biochemistry. And we we take the same foods and we we take the same medicine. And it makes sense because what happened? Because the, the children of Cham they had went through uh diseases and uh you hear that? Mean thunderstorms. But they went through um genetic uh, manipulation and now they have recessive genes and now instead of having our eumelanin they have uh, predominantly pheomelanin they have very little amounts of eumelanin and that makes sense right because they're the people that went through the changes so they're the ones that's sick they're the ones that the earth, they cannot work with the earth to heal themselves. We take it for granted. For granted. It's just that simple. We we we're, not looking to, we're not looking to get out there and exercise. You know, the, the most two prevalent excuse. Right there, exercise. You need to go get some exercise. I think it was um, Scott, Arthur Scott. He bust out the Qigong and shit, I do Qigong. Qigong is very beneficial for you. You should do Qigong, for real. And then um, I also do yoga. Yoga is probably one of the best things you could ever do. The best things. So you see a change in the first yoga experience do a 20 minute 30 minute yoga you can find it on youtube i mean there's there's numerous amounts of yoga videos go to yoga text go to yoga zone any of these things good starter ones oh, exercise you gotta exercise so get out and do something that maybe you enjoy but you have to uh try try something so we're gonna get to the next video we'll learn about plasma <clears throat> so plasma is key because most of your blood isn't blood it's plasma and that's why they love taking your blood taking your plasma uh, plus to um, if they take your blood then it, it actually um, it affects you negative negatively so 
you want to try and limit giving blood I wouldn't even give it because it's not going to the resources you planned it to go to most stuff that we deal with are fronts so you want to kind of research it a little more when you try to do some things here we go plasma so plasma is, is great it encompasses your organs when you deplete your plasma from being dehydrated that's when you get organ failure, strokes, heart attacks, you lose your vision. It's because usually the plasma is depleted in the area or is a low amount. Alright, so the question I want to ask um, is what animates the body? What is life? What keeps us alive? What, what, what do we run on? Blood, hemoglobin. Blood, blood, blood. Oxygen. Getting closer. Oxygen. Electricity. Electricity. What carries the electricity around the body? Copper. Conductors. Getting close. H2O. H2O. Well, water? Close. 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 Electrons. I said water. Well, electrons is what electricity is. Oh, water. Uh, so whenever you have electrons <laughs> moving in the medium, you got electricity. Oh, uh, um, shit. So we got, in the system, we got oxygen. Right? Why did you say oxygen? Because. I'm just asking, so don't feel, you know, no type of way. Because we need that. To, to help our blood. Our cell, so iron carries oxygen through the blood. Eighty years ago. I heard that is a sunlight prayer meditation. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, have a little broader here? Oh, he's, he's being so nice. Yeah. So we gotta do it. Is where we get the majority of our electricity from. We have to have more patience with each other so that we can teach each other. Because not everybody's going to be on the same page. We have to have patience and make and show understanding, overstanding. Right, then you got. You got eight electrons for every atom of oxygen. Right? And the whole trick is to make oxygen special. And it's important to, to, to get it just so we get this whole thing down packed because I'm going to spend like probably the next few months just specifically dealing with plasma. The thing that makes oxygen special is that oxygen is a strong acid. Oxygen is a strong acid. And it's so acidic that the bonds which would normally keep these electrons attached to the nucleus are very weak. <coughs> Brother, we'll get some pen and the paper so we don't wait. You take no <coughs> Sorry, no, our brother's having a moment. <coughs> Told you to watch that popcorn. Ha 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 ha
from the time of life and did the examination. Right. H2O2. But so, so when you do that, you get a lot of negative ions in the water, whatever the case may be. But you also get a lot of the positive ions as well, mm -hmm. which become free radicals. So if you're going through anything with peroxide, you got to follow that up with a lot of fruit, a lot of antioxidants to pull out the free radicals that you're creating at the same time. Can I ask you a question? If you, sure. pour, if you pour water on the stove and you take it from out your sink and the, the pot turn, uh, ends up with black spots in it, what is that? Um, and you can't get the black spots out. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of no good stuff that's in your, in your water you would normally drink. It's all the metals and shit in your But um, also, that might be heavy minerals. So a lot of times when we boil the water, like we, we don't think about the chemicals. So like um, back in the days, that was the thing they would tell everybody, make your water safe to drink. You boil it. It doesn't make it Boiling safe. the water only gets rid of some of the bacteria and the living problems that exist in the water. But the chemicals and the toxins and the metals and the chemicals, they don't go anywhere. They're still in there. Actually, and, and you might condense some of them. Right, right. You can dance, you're making them more active the, the chemical poisons in there. So um I don't I don't tell people to boil their water. I like it. Only time boiling water is something you want to do to make it safe to drink is if you like in the jungle or like we in a blackout, wild, crazy situation and you gotta you know, it's a whole other zone zone. But if we got access to water in a bottle, that's the way to go. Even though the best water in the bottle is still not living water, it's still dead water, technically, because the ion content is not there. It doesn't have any living plants and animals and stuff like that in there, so it's different. And but he has a uh, clip on YouTube when you went to a mineral water lake yeah, in the yeah, water. Yeah, yeah. That water looked. It crazy. wasn't even blue. Yeah, it was like a milky like blue. Yeah, 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 it was I crazy. Was like, Man, can you yeah. swim in that too? It was just all coral yeah. calcium. They have places in Jamaica where they have mineral baths. They got well, they got them out there too. They got okay. that, like and right, like with with that same, I guess that same coral calcium deposit. Maybe two blocks over, maybe half a mile or so, they have the where pools you, okay. where you pay like ten dollars and you could be in it all day. But it's the same. um the same coral calcium deposit as the guy who built the coral castle down there in Florida. Oh yeah, I heard about like, that. Like we were just a few blocks over from where his house is and right on the ley line. So that was a whole nother dynamic. But even right if, the, if the earth is being so polluted and is it still has the same qualities as maybe years ago? Is it, the, you know how they say the ocean is polluted and Right. Well, fish are dying everywhere. Is it? Does it still hold that same? You still, you still have places where there's no pollution. You still have places where there's no pollution, or I should say, relatively small amounts of pollution. Right. And you have places. And where it's like what Arizona? Yeah. Because yeah. yeah, you got hot springs where that water's coming up from deep, deep down under the earth. Some of that stuff you know what I'm saying? saying? So it's not exposed to people throwing garbage in certain places where you go, like on the ocean, the coastline, you got uh, burger wrappers and, and water bottles floating to the to the edge. The gully. Right, because it's exposed like that. <clears throat> but these places that's coming up from under the earth. I got one more question. You ever heard of uh, a stone called mica? I sure have. And does it really clean up the water, like they say? Because it's supposed to be from Hawaii. No. I mean, <laughs> people sell a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? It's not going to... Hawaii got all kind of shit, but they're not going to sell you that. It'll add minerals to the water. The government not going to give you the stuff that Hawaii water. get that can't give you. It's not going to necessarily take some stuff out <laughs> of the water. Right. So, so, um, so Never have I seen them promote the good thing like I was saying, Hawaii it's such a or the acid, native people. Right? That the electrons are not bonded to the nucleus, or, or I should say they can't easily Shit, be broken. Shit, most Hawaiians away. don't even so what know in your lungs that is, there's thousands of pyramids on these islands. Your blood is spread out all over the air cells, all over the air cells, and the you can't iron find in the blood an article of one being magnetic. 
iron has the a Maui charge man. which is magnetic. It pulls the electrons away from the oxygen. Okay, that's how your blood gets the electricity and it that animates the body. Alright? But and we kinda went over that. That's kinda like that's why I wanted to see if anybody knew the answer. Jason should have knew the answer. I didn't hear what was the question. Right. Okay. Jason's just not even paying attention. I'm just doing some other stuff. That's called not paying attention. Got you. When, when you're doing some other stuff, that's what's not paying attention. Um, about what animates life, electricity. You know, just um, get that. Question. But we know that flat. Oh, we should know. Matter of fact, maybe we don't know. Right there. All right. So that's oxygen. What so the iron part? What the iron part? Yeah. Some people didn't know that. Um, I didn't know either. I knew it. I said it. <laughs> so, um, all right. So our blood consists of about what? What percentage of our blood? I ain't, I ain't, I ain't. Every time Dr. Seb is like, he just don't have iron. Uh, Give him iron. Yeah, you got it. Okay. All right. <laughs> I say 80 to 90. No. About what percent of our blood? He always, he always has that class name. 10, 20, 30, and all wrong. Like. Yeah, all that's about 50. 50. The answer is A and B. Why are you yelling out numbers? <laughs> Somewhere around 60% is your plasma, which is an important thing to talk about. So, but my problem is that whenever you hear people talk about health, they don't talk about certain things in the body you hear, you don't hear people talk about. And the reason is because the obvious is true, they don't know. So when you're constantly repackaging and regurgitating something you heard from somebody else before, you can't get into new areas of, of yeah. teaching because you don't know the information. And most people not read books. What's the difference in it? Because some, some people, they refuse blood when they're in the hospital mm -hmm. and they take plasma mm -hmm. instead because I had that done to me. What's the difference between the, the you know, the blood and then the blood plasma? All right, um, good. That's a good, that's a good, um, honest question. The plasma is um, basically the fluid that your blood cells float in. So you have your blood cells, your red blood cells, they look like little toroid discs, and, the, and that, that, that has a whole man. So we are markedly challenged right now. Okay, because there's not a high concentration of lumen within the plasma cell? No. no. But melanin does have a strong relationship to plasma. Because we're going to see that the plasma is actually where your consciousness and what makes you you is actually resides at. It's so, in the plasma. This question. And there's actually very little water in your body. What we have con, um, what we have attributed to being water in the various areas of the body is actually plasma, not water. So, when doctors when they want treatment, they would have your plasma, right? Besides melanin, they want your plasma. Yes and no. When you go to a blood bank, they take your plasma, right? Or they take your blood. Like it depends. When you when you go there, you can tell them you want to donate blood, and they um they concentrate more on the cells. You can tell them whole blood, which is the blood and the plasma, all together. So um, but yeah, so the plasma is just the fluid minus the blood, and if you get a transfusion of plasma your body can reproduce the blood cells because the, the plasma is the most important thing in the body. So like for instance, there's a lot of talk right now in the conscious community about the validity of the Bible. And then the overtone to that is the validity of whether there's a God that exists at all or not, right? Because people often confuse one with the two. The same thing as people confusing the Bible or the Quran with religion. So when I tell people that they need to go back to studying the like, yes and no. When you go to a blood bank, they take your plasma. Your body can reproduce the blood cells because the plasma is the most important thing in the body. So like for instance, there's a lot of talk right now in the conscious community Here we go. about the validity hey, hey. of the Bible. And then 
the overtones to that is the validity of whether there's a God that exists at all or not, right? Because people often confuse one with two. The same thing as people confusing the Bible or the Quran with religion. So when I tell people that they need to go back to studying the Quran, go back to studying the Bible, they're like, oh yeah, but I'm not trying to get into religion. You're trying to put somebody in religion because you're a minister. I'm like, hold on. First of all, I didn't tell you to go to church or the mosque or the synagogue or the temple. I just said you need to be somewhere besides the corner. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then, it's science in those books that outside of those books is unmatched still yet. It's stuff in those books that scientists just discovering the last 50 years that have been in those books. The point on, it don't even matter who you listen to in terms of who wrote the book. But you tell, okay, if you if you deal with what's in the book or the religious aspect, it's like, okay, uh, Muhammad was in the cave and he got the book divinely inspired by the angel Gabriel, blah, blah, blah. So some people like, well, that's not true. And you know, this person really wrote it. And all right, cool, whoever wrote it, it was awesome. It was 1,500 years ago, minimum, by anybody's standard, 1,500 years ago. So 1,500 years ago, they knew things that's in the Quran that scientists are just getting the last 50, 200 years. 2,000 years ago, it's stuff in the Bible that they're just getting right now. So, and then the deeper I study, I see that there's a level of intelligence that's at play that nobody can really put their level in Level of intelligence. When you look at a cell. The creator. Right? Cells automatically know how to build themselves up and to make a whole person. Your body starts with one cell. Nobody consciously directs that one fertilized cell from your father's sperm and your mother's egg into how to build itself. Like for instance, like if we take, if we take a thousand bricks and we throw those bricks in the middle of the street and step back. Those bricks will not build themselves into a building. Let alone build themselves into a building that can keep rebuilding itself as the building starts to degenerate. So it's something in each one of those cells that has that intelligence that already knows what to do. All right, come on. We're going to make a lung. Okay, y'all gonna make a little boom, 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 boom. And that was my next question. What is that called? It's called intelligence. That intelligence comes through the comes through the body's plasma. Can you write that again? Can you write that on the board? Mm -hmm. uh, plasma? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, well you know what, Jay? Yes, sir. You weren't paying attention. Okay. You were doing something else, sir. Okay. Okay. That's so I, I'm gonna write this over, but going to need you to pay attention like Steve in the front. Steve paying attention to everything sure. you hear over the chewing of the sandwich. I want to make sure all, all of our people <laughs> on the internet world is uh, <laughs> And I ask you, oh, I'm going to be discussing the person that we We derive all our information from those couple of books that they have given to us. You know, like the Bible, the Quran, and all like that. But wasn't it in Alexandria that it was?